Role-playing games. They're fun. They allow you to pretend you're an elf for a few hours in the company of good friends. But not just an elf. Maybe you're a space marine. Maybe you're a Jedi. Or maybe you're investigating a conspiracy involving a cult full of evil insect people. If that last one sounds like your thing, you're in luck, as one of the entries in this year's Game Chef competition is about just that. It's called Exuvia, and I sat down with the creator of the game to talk about RPGs, Game Chef, and the insectoid cults hidden among us. So I'm here with Sean Smith, who's the creator of Exuvia. Uh, Sean, tell us about the game. So, Exuvia is something that I made for Game Chef this yes. year, mm -hmm. um, and it's an investigative horror, kind of horror noir role-playing game that uses cards in order to uncover an insect cult conspiracy. Excellent. So, primarily, kind of driven by the fact that Game Chef is like a design competition where each year you're given one theme which you need to build for. Yeah. So this year's theme was a different audience. Um, and then four distinct ingredients. And then you had to use some of them how you chose and create a game in nine days. So it's essentially come from that. So, I mean, obviously it's very, very theme heavy. Mm. Um, I mean, when you were creating it, did you think the theme or the game mechanics were the most important part? I mean, which did you start with and what did you build from? So, typically this is actually the, the sort of question that I ask any time I'm given a, you now have the opportunity to ask any of these game creators a question of your cho yeah. choice. Is it is it themes first, is it mechanics first? Um, although I had a solid idea of how I wanted the how I wanted the mechanics to go, because I knew that I wanted to use a pack of cards for it. Beyond that, it wasn't necessarily a case of, well, it must be exactly this, it must be exactly this. Right. Primarily, it's the sort of, as long as everything was working in such a way that the game fit the emotion that I was trying to promote, yeah. then I was trying to promote that emotion foremost. Okay. So originally, the idea was, I wanted to create something that would make my audience feel scared, mm. sort of to promote a sort of terror position. Yeah. But whilst the game was being developed, I realized actually it felt more fun if you were legitimately trying to unearth the conspiracy and were trying to dig away at things and look for it in that perspective. Mm, yeah, sounds so good. it's much more theme driven, I suppose. Excellent. And so, I mean, you've been playtesting it for a, a little while now, a week or week or so. Yeah. A week or two. Um, have you come across any problems that you've had to iron out in the playtesting process? So the way in which I do a lot of the, a lot of the design tends to be that I'll create I'll create a concept hmm. and then I will test it a ridiculous amount of times over and over on my own without any of the story on top, yeah. just to check that the maths works out right, that the numbers kind of play out and that it feels sufficiently balanced. Okay. So the few times that I've play tested it in full, it's been the points where it's actually had the, like, the story elements as well. Yes. And so that's been the first time where you've realized just how much like either a little extra nudging in certain directions you might need, mm. or, I mean, originally I'd intended for it to run a little bit like, like Goblin Quest is an absolutely brilliant game, yes. um, like I called Grant Howitt, mm. um, recently kickstarted and made incredible amounts of cash. And that plays entirely GMless. Yes. And it's really yeah. interesting because it's a really resilient rule system. And I kind of wanted to, to steal his goal almost in yeah. that case. And I really wanted to create something that would run without a GM. Yeah. Um, and then through playtesting it, that was mostly the case where I realized it tends to run a bit better if you have somebody smoothing over things. So obviously there's going to be people out there who sound interested in this. Uh, where can they find out more about your game? So eventually I'd like to fully publish Exuvier. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not sure the process that I'm going to follow for that yet, whether or not I self-publish it like I did with the game that I released from last year's Game Chef. Okay. Um, which, so the game was Contempt for the Ogre Poet and managed to get through to the English language final. Brilliant. And so I released that in a, game, in a collection of three games called mm -hmm. Cons Prior, which is, exists in an ebook somewhere. Okay, cool. Um, this time around I quite like the idea of going down a traditional publishing route. Yeah but obviously that's quite a lengthy process. Yes. The most immediate way, I mean, if you're not already one of the Game Chef judges, mm -hmm. um, the most immediate way is this coming weekend, so the 4th and the 5th of July. Yep. Um, I'm going to be exhibiting it at the London Anime and Gaming Convention. Excellent. Um, so I've got a booth in the Indies room, yep. which I believe is in the gaming section, wherever mm -hmm. that is precisely. <laughs> um, and across the day, I'm planning on running three full games um, on each of the days. Okay. So there'll be a case of signing up yeah, to take part um, and good. also kind of a roll, a soft rolling continual conspiracy that can be solved as people wander up and oh, down as it goes brilliant. across. Oh, so. Sounds good. Okay, oh, well, um, I'll, I'll direct as many people your way as I can. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, thanks for talking to us and uh, feel free if you're going to AnimeCon to 
check out Sean's game. I should be stood around, probably looking a little bit like I've stepped out of a noir film. At least Excellent. that's the hope. I, I look forward to it. Excellent. Wicked, thanks very much. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Tom. Thank you. To find out more about Exuvier, follow Sean on Twitter, and if you're quick, you might be able to catch a game at the London Anime Con this weekend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. 